Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll show some basic setup considerations for radiation. This lamp has a 50 watt bulb which can radiate to a reflective surface and through the glass cover. We'll give the bulb a 50 watt volume heat source. Now we can apply a radiation boundary condition to the bulb itself. We'll choose the surface to surface option since we want the software to calculate radiation effects to the reflector and the glass. This is a closed system since the radiation from the bulb is not propagating into free space outside the enclosure, so we can uncheck the open system option. The emissivity of the bulb is estimated at 70%. You can see in the online help, the emissivity depends on the surface finish and the temperature of the surface. A surface that has a high emissivity is a bad reflector and a good absorber and emitter of radiation. Glass, porcelain, and rubber are examples with relatively high emissivity and thus can absorb and emit radiation fairly well. A surface that has a low emissivity is a good reflector and a poor absorber of radiation. Polished metals are examples of good reflectors and poor absorbers, so they have low emissivity. Now we'll apply a radiation boundary condition to the reflector surface. It has a low emissivity of about 10%. We'll do the same to the inside surface of the glass. Remember, it is a good absorber and emitter of radiation, so its emissivity is rather high. The outside surface of the glass needs to radiate to ambient. We check the surface to ambient option, enter the ambient temperature, and enter the same high emissivity value. This time, however, we enter a view factor to ambient of 1. This means there is nothing blocking the radiation from the outside glass surface to ambient. Here we note the convection boundary conditions of the outside of the reflector and the outside of the glass to air. The solution of radiation includes a view factor calculation, so radiation studies can add substantially to the time for solution. The online help shows a sample calculation for two infinitesimal surfaces. You can see the software has to determine what portion of surface A is in view of surface B and account for any surfaces blocking one another. It has to calculate the reciprocal too. That is, what portion of surface B is in view of surface A. Surfaces on the same geometry can radiate back and forth to each other, so the software has to account for all of this as well. Finally, here's a cutaway of the temperature distribution after the run. In this video, we showed some basic setup considerations for radiation in simulation.